All right. What's up, guys? What are you guys up to, man? All right, just uh, getting some gas on the way home from a movie job. Thought I'd fire up the camera and just say, what's up, man? How are you guys doing? All right, how are you guys doing? All right. Anyway, uh, I was watching the Dodger game yesterday, opening day at the old Chavez Ravine. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have saw my uh, Instagram post on the gram there. I posted a doggone video of uh, Doyer Stadium on opening day 2019. How about that? Anyway, uh, it was pretty cool, dude. They ate homers, man. Oh, Kike Hernandez, and we had a belly bomb in there, and Jock Peterson, dude. I mean, they were all, all the bats were alive, baby. Uh, yeah, give me a receipt. Uh, so that was pretty exciting. But there's one thing, dude, uh, I noticed. I don't know if you guys picked up on this. They were talking about, uh, you know, like Kershaw's injury and stuff, his sore, sore, sh sore shoulder. And they were like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he may or may not go on the uh, IL. And they kept saying IL, and I hadn't heard, or I guess I did, but I didn't really notice. But they were saying IL instead of DL. So I Googled it today. I'm like, what is this IL injured list as opposed to DL for disabled list? And sure enough, man, they changed it because, you know, I guess maybe disabled, disabled is... Offensive or disabled list is for some reason they changed it because they're like now You know, you're basically you're saying if you're disabled then you can't play sports, you know And it's not right for the people who have disabilities. They're saying oh if you have a disability uh, You can't play sports. No, that's not what it means people since 1966 Since 1966 the MLB has used DL as in disabled list uh, to reference a player who has an injury, who cannot temporarily, cannot play the sport of baseball. He's not on the roster. He's not, you know, playing until he heals up. That's what it means. That has nothing to do with, you know, with persons with disabilities. That's a stretch. Come on. I get it. I'm sympathetic to people with disabilities, man. I'm a huge supporter of the ADA. Americans with Disabilities Act, uh, for those of you that didn't know. Yeah, come on. Come on. We get it. There's people with disabilities, and, you know, I am a strong supporter of, uh, of all that, you know, Special Olympics and all that stuff. Okay, come on. I'm not saying that at all. And neither is the Major League Baseball, dude. They're just saying a player was injured. Okay, it's got no... One has nothing to do with the other, yet they changed it to injured list, IL. Oh, that player's on the IL. I mean, it's just semantics, it's just a word, but it's just like, God, dude, what else is gonna be offensive? Every day there's something new that's offensive. Every single day. Oh, I'm offended. Oh, man, are those poppies? I think these are poppies. Hey, those are poppies. There's poppies on the 60 freeway, look at that. Those are freaking poppies. Oh, we gotta stop. Oh my god, we're in Monterey Park. Look at this shit. There's poppies right there. Oh, you don't have to go to Lake Elsinore. You got poppies right here, people. Holy crap, I gotta take a picture. That's a great picture right there, by the way. Oh, jeez. Gotta get a picture of the poppies. Look at that. That's <laughs> That is awesome. Poppy's on the 60. You saw it here first. Saw it here, folks. Saw it here first, folks. Anyway, uh, where was I? Yeah, I mean, it's not really a big deal, but it just seems like every day I wake up, dude, and there's something new that people are triggered and offended by. And uh, it's just kind of frustrating a little bit, you know? But that's the uh, that's a society and the uh, world in which we live in, man, in this country especially, man. Everybody gets triggered so easily on the silliest little things. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. You know, pretty, pretty soon we're going to be offended at getting offended. Hey, that's what I'm doing. I'm offended at people who get offended. No, I'm no better. than. I guess I'm right in there with them. 
Hey, so when I merge over like this, uh, it's, it's legal in California to split, by the way, but I got a Harley coming. You got to be real careful, man. I've been seeing a lot of videos lately of riders uh, almost getting clobbered when they're either splitting traffic and a motorcycle comes over into them because they want a lane split, or the rider himself is is uh, doing it, what I just did there. But uh, you want to be super careful, guys. Come on, you guys know this, man. When you're switching over in heavy traffic like this, and you just got on the freeway, or you just pulled out into traffic after taking pictures of of uh, the poppies along the 60 freeway there in um, Monterey Park, and you're pulling out into traffic, you know, be sure to give it a good head, good head check if you have to. You know, usually I like to be a big proponent of that. I don't think I did it in that case there because I was 100% confident in what I was seeing in my mirrors because I stopped and I actually looked and I saw the Harley coming and I knew it was clear. But anyway, yeah, you guys should really do a head check. You know, do as I say, not as I do, I guess. And 99.9% .9 of the time I do do a head check. I just don't think I did one there. I do do. I said do do. Anyway, uh... Yeah, uh, there's been a couple of uh, videos I've, I've seen lately on the gram where, uh, where people have showed that they're doing what we're doing here, lane splitting, and a new rider comes in from over here and changes lanes right into them, man, to, to start splitting. And uh, we got to watch out for each other, man. You know, these drivers, usually he is, but these drivers usually aren't watching out for us, man. So if we ain't going to watch out for each other, who is, you know? So just be careful, that's all. That is all. And uh, what else, man? Yeah, the knee is uh, jacked up. Uh, the knee is definitely tore up from the floor up. Uh, so if you've been following along again on the gram, if you're not following on the gram, I'm telling you, you're missing out on a lot of stuff, guys. Come on. you got to follow me on the gram, baby. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, the knee's tore up. It's going to need surgery. Uh, i got meniscus tear and chondral fissuring and... All that good stuff and some bone spurs. So, uh, but we're gonna do that later on. We'll definitely do it after SCMM 2019, which is in late August this year. More info on that to come in future videos. But uh, uh, it, I mean, it's feeling better, but it's not gonna get. It's not gonna fix itself, you know. But uh, I've been stretching it and kind of doing a little therapy on it and stuff like that. So. Uh, you know, I'm back to work. I'm not off work, as you can tell. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for the support. You let me buy, buddy? Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. Um, what else? What else? I guess that's it, man. I don't know. I'll let you guys go. I won't keep it. Oh, man. Oh, it's Diwali. Diwali. Anyway. Um, yeah, I guess that's it, man. I'm kind of rambling. Traffic tends to do that to me, man. When I'm when I'm stuck in traffic like this, it kind of makes me kind of a little chatterbox, man, a little chatty Cathy. But oh, see, like this guy, you gotta watch him, dude. He's thinking about coming over. I'm gonna tell him too. I hold up two fingers to let him know, not the peace sign, but I hold up two fingers to let up let him know there's another rider behind me. There's two of us. All right, guys, I'll get on home. I'll let you guys go, man. But uh, I'll talk to you real soon, man. Next one, uh, next one hopefully will come shortly. Soon to follow, you know what I mean? But until then, you guys watch your six. Be good humans, I'll watch you. Oh, I messed that up. Be good humans, watch your six. See you on the next one. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm rusty. What do you want from me? All right, later.